Hi, my Ripple friends and families. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I just wanted to take a few minutes today to tell you about one of my favorite activities. That's called five, four, three, two, one. In five, four, three, two, one, we use all of our senses to help us get out of our heads and into our space. Sometimes when you're having a tough day, we can worry about a lot of things. And when we're stuck worrying, can be really hard to stop. So doing the activity five, four, three, two, one, it can help us get out of our heads and reconnect us to our space and our environment. It's a way of what we say, grounding ourselves and connecting with what's around us. So to do this activity, it's really quite easy. And we're gonna start off with identifying five things we can see. So I want you to look around your room or look around your house, or even take a look outside your window and tell me five things you can see. Have you found five things yet? If you're having trouble, you can take a look right here at the screen. Things might appear here. I can see a polar bear. Did you see the polar bear? I also see a really cute fuzzy lamb. Do you see him? How about a floating star? Sometimes, just like magic, a star appears on my screen. Keep watching closely, you might see something else. Like my friend, Dudley the dragon. Can you see him? I see him. What's one more thing you can see? Take a look around your room. Maybe you can see your favorite toy, or maybe your favorite book. Or maybe it's that comfy blanket you like to cuddle with. Now that you've found five things you can see, I want you to find four things you can touch. I know for me, I can touch my sweater, which is really quite cozy. I can also come back to this cute little fuzzy lamb and touch him and rub his tummy. He's really soft and furry. What else can you touch? Maybe you have a pet at home. Can you find another thing? Now that you've found four things you can touch, I want you to find three things that you can hear. So three things that you can hear. Listen quietly. Can you hear me? If I listen really quietly, I can hear the motor running in my computer. I can also hear my fingers tapping on the computer. Can you hear that? What do you hear in your home? Can you hear people talking in another room? Maybe you can hear the TV or some music playing. Once you've found three things that you can hear, I want you to tell me two things that you can smell. Mm. In front of me, I have a bouquet of flowers and it smells beautiful. I also have a candle in the other room and I can smell that. What smells do you smell? Maybe someone's cooking in your house or maybe they're baking cookies. I hope whatever you can smell, I hope it smells very good. Uh, and the last thing is one thing. This is our last sense we're going to use, and it's taste. Tell me one thing you can taste. I often get people telling me they can taste their saliva, but I just happen to have an orange as a snack, and I can still taste that. It was really quite yummy. So next time you're worried about things and you're constantly thinking and thinking and thinking, remember to do five, four, three, two, one. Use all your senses, come out of your head and into your space, right? So that's five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. It's a nice way to ground yourselves and distract yourselves. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you soon.